I've made a few videos about finding auditions online and today I want to show you guys like a an actual example of how I found a lot of auditions or I booked a bunch of jobs with this guy through a Facebook post. This is Javier. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. I, I like to say I'm a filmmaker because I do it all but the main stuff directing and writing. You made a Facebook post where you were looking for other creatives in the Bay Area. At the time I was just you know hungry to collaborate with more creatives in the Bay um, and I posted that you know I'm a Latinx director here in the Bay looking to collaborate and that's how Belgica reached out. Yeah so I saw that post I reached out and then you were working specifically on a a commercial for Rick's yeah. Furniture yeah. and so we did that and then after we were done shooting that we were just talking about different ideas and yeah. As we talked more, we realized how much we wanted to tell stories about the Mexican-American yeah. experience in particular, um, especially because we're both first gen. I was born in Mexico, he was born here, but I came when I was like four, so I'm, I just feel like the yeah, same. I yeah, just feel like yeah. first gen versus an immigrant, yeah. you know? After that, we just continued to collaborate. We've done music videos. We did those um, Rick's Furniture commercials. Yeah. We've done, uh, we did the Coleman water jug. Yeah. Most recently, we made a short called The Lease. And so I texted Javi and I was like, Javi, is there anything you want to work on? Like, I'm trying to get footage for my reel. Yeah. And he called me. <laughs> and then we, because I feel like not a lot of people call, yeah. but Javi will call you. <laughs> and, and she was like, what? A millennial calling me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we talked for like an hour and we came up with ideas. And then this one just like clicked. We're like, this, this is fun. Because yeah. we have a few like Mexican-American experiences and just Mexican experiences really that we want to develop into stories like mm -hmm. smashing of the face and, and the cake, like <laughs> yeah. things like that Birthday that <laughs> you don't really realize aren't normal for other cultures. Yeah. But um, this one, it's that, that, that time where there's like somebody that might speak Spanish. So you oh, give like a little, yeah. like a little hint of sneak in some words in Spanish to see if like maybe or maybe not. After we decided on that, we started doing Zoom calls. Yeah. And well, the story, the, I like how the story came up because it was very organic. Uh, it was also just all happenstance, you know, um, because I remember that day, there was this, the day I think I called Belgica earlier that day, my brother was like, dude, we need to film some shit. And yeah. I was like, I know. And he's like, what do we have right now? Look, we just moved into the spot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so like, you guys had just leased an apartment yeah, and I just, have experience leasing apartments yeah. in the past. So it just all connected. And then we, so we used that and we fused it with this conversation we had about uh, when when you're when you when you're you know Mexican at a grocery store and you're talking sometimes with the other cashier and they throw the English at you and it's just funny that there's uh, that nuance right there that you could experience with the with the cashier register you know yeah and then maybe uh you'll say uh, you'll drop a Spanish word like oh yeah and how much for the frijoles yeah you know? oh and the you tomatillos or like tomatillos, yeah you know. And then sometimes it's just funny. Sometimes they'll pick up, and then some some will like oh switch to Spanish, but some of them won't. And like when they don't, it's funny because you kind of like I don't know, I don't you, I I won't get too offended, but I'm like damn, do they? Like I, I do speak Spanish though, like. And shit. then your brother, and then Cesar. <laughs> what are you did he say? Cesar was just like, no, like they don't need to know. Like I'll just speak English. Yeah, like he, he's yeah, like, if they talk to me in Spanish, we'll just keep speaking English, yeah. which is hilarious because we were just saying how like we were opposite of that. Yeah. Which is totally fine. Like whatever you want to do, yeah. like who cares? But it's just funny to have these like little similarities. Yeah, just the little and the little differences, right? Yes. Because my brother's on the other end, like he doesn't care. Like, oh, he would rather be more kind of mysterious and like Maybe I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, maybe why, why would you assume I speak I'm Spanish? Maybe I'm from like the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's it's just funny to get all those perspectives, and I, it was a mix of that with the leasing stuff that just kind of that became the lease. It was just was what yeah. we did, and so we did the Zoom calls, and in the Zoom calls, I try to take on the like a producer's hat because mm -hmm. Javi does a lot as far as let me fix this. Are you judging my filmmaking not, skills? Not at all, not at all. Filmmaker, I'm all, YouTuber. <laughs> I'm all about it. I took on the like a producer's hat. I got us a place to film um, and got us food, like little things like yeah. that. Figured out those things. And I feel like we just work really well together yeah. and we like to continue to have ideas. Next, we're going to be filming something that's totally not at all based off of a true story <laughs> about 
it's related to pizza yeah yeah it's uh, you know <laughs> stories so we'll be filming that in november and then in september a little bit later this month we're, we're gonna also film ideas that he has had for a while yeah um, and we're looking to experiment with this time around like reaching out to other writers and playwrights that i've that i met during the pandemic so you know i'm just gonna give them a, some lim the like some limitations because a lot of creativity comes from limitations so i'm yeah. just gonna tell them like the start of the yeah, story yeah so like the only thing the thing i have in mind right now is a girl goes to an airbnb what happens <laughs> you know yeah so. javi started writing the script and then we had a writing session together um because i had experience in the past with leasing apartments then we had you know my knowledge of yeah. leasing apartments so we were able to write it more truthfully i think because yeah. we both had experiences like you had just leased an apartment i have leased many apartments um, like as a leasing agent um, so we just we made a, a short yep. from yep. that so yep. that's the latest thing and I'm gonna show you guys a clip of it so here's the kitchen it's has a nice open floor plan and uh, you have an induction heated stove so if you're going to roast tomatillos to make salsa or whatever you like to cook uh, it gets hot really fast And then you can go to his channel, Bless Dress, to see Bless the trailer. Us. And then eventually, once we're done with the film uh, festival circuit, which not really, we only submitted <laughs> it to two and we already heard back from one. Yeah. But once we're able to post it, it will be on his channel, the whole thing, so you guys can check it out. How do you find like more people to collaborate? Like obviously, I was through a Facebook uh -huh. post. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, honestly, a lot of it has come from Facebook. Even, even the music videos we've done, like mm -hmm. some of them, uh, like I found actresses, uh, actors, uh, DPs, editors, not many, I tend to edit my stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> I am looking for editors now, uh, but uh, yeah. So if you I, want to experience editing, because uh -huh. we do this, like we just collaborate. Yeah. We don't have a budget. Our budget is like whatever money we can afford mm -hmm. to put into it. So yeah. if you also want to be part of like just doing stuff for fun, let us know. Mm -hmm. Slide mm -hmm. into his DMs because I don't check DMs. my DMs very much. <laughs> Slide, Slide into, the D D into the DMs, yeah. Social media have been really clutch about it. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. YouTube, and YouTube. like YouTube yeah. comments. So go comment on his yeah. on his channel. So yeah, I mean, I like, I just want to show you guys what can happen from a Facebook post. So be careful, right? <laughs> be careful with like whoever you yeah. end up collaborating with. If you're under 18, don't like just make sure your parents are doing yeah, all of this and you're coming bring your bring your parents if the director doesn't want you to bring anyone that's an immediate red flag yeah because so, it's i would say it's important um, to bring someone along with you for the first time or a public space you know yeah and, somewhere where you feel safe yeah. like if even if you agree to go and then at, when you're there you feel unsafe leave especially if it's a collaboration and you're not getting paid even if you're getting paid if you're ever uncomfortable like it's not worth it mm -mm. don't do it mm -mm. um anyways let us know if you guys have any questions about hobbies about filmmaking he's a filmmaker so um yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna feature javi's channel right here if you guys want to go check him out and subscribe and like i said the lease and the trailer will be up on his channel eventually um once we're done with like the whole mm -hmm. film festivals but um thank you so much for watching andy yeah. i asked for filet mignon not filet mignon and weird mushy stuff and skinny trees.